Welcome to Helicon Soft video tutorials. Today I will show you how much you can do with unique retouching tools Helicon Focus has. I will start by opening a short stack of 5 images by Colin Hutton. I will go through the stack now to show you that shooting conditions were not perfect. The wasp was moving and you can see that its positions has been changing all the time. It's always really challenging to get good stacking results when images are so much misaligned. But now, let's see what we can do here. First, I will render the stack. I'm using C method this time because I know it will cope with these multiple bristles and complicated surface shape better than the other ones. Well, now I can see that this movement of the wasp almost spoiled the resulting image because now you see I have these antennae from all the source images. This is where I will use the retouching tool to rescue the image. Now, you will see how it works. On the retouching tab, you can see three types of brush. The first one to copy from source image. The second one to clone areas within the output image. And another brush to erase changes. The first, the copy from source brush is exactly what I want here. And actually, this is the one that is chosen by default. Now, I'll zoom the antenna in slightly, just for better view. To proceed with retouching of this antennae defect that I have now, I will first need to find the source image with the best focused antennae. Then I will use this layer to replace the relevant problem part of the output image. I'll just go through the stack until I find the best image to copy from. I think that this is the one. Antennae look much more focused here than on the rest of the images. I have the source image on the left and the output one on the right. There's another great feature of Helicon Focus that makes retouching really simple. The source and output images are perfectly aligned. It means that I don't have to make any effort to fit the copied area exactly in the same place, unlike with any usual general purpose image editor. Now, I'll increase the size of the brush a bit to speed up the process. You may also use square bracket keys for this. What I also like a lot about this brush is that it has a preview option which makes it absolutely handy for retouching of different kinds of artifacts. Now I can see how it will look like and it seems just fine to me. So I use the left mouse button to apply the copy from source brush. Look, just several clicks and it's done. When you say retouching, you usually think of something complicated and time consuming. But with Helicon Focus, it's really simple. I had a short but really problematic stack, but managed to receive perfect output image. Try it out for yourself and you will be impressed.